most of your Cypress code will be executed in the browser. But for certain types of challenges like seeding a database, sending emails, or otherwise testing the impact of jobs that might be queued as a result of your front-end interactions, you'll want to write a Cypress plugin. Plugins are a seam for you to write your own custom code that executes during particular stages of the Cypress lifecycle. So let's go ahead and write a Hello World version of a Cypress plugin to see how it works. We'll say on task, which we'll call with cy.task. We'll call the task hello, and hello will accept a name. Finally, we'll console.log. The log statement will say hello, name, and then we'll return null, which for a Cypress plugin means it executed successfully. If we switch over to our test file, we can call this with cy.task, calling the task hello, and passing in name, world. From Cypress, we'll see the task logged out, logging out the name of the task and the arguments we passed. Then if we look at our Cypress runner, we can see that hello world gets logged out in our console. We take notice that the task took place in the command line, not in the browser, and that we're going to use tasks to interact with our server environment, but also that Cypress isn't running in our Webpack server or our backend server. Cypress is running in its own execution context with its own version of Node, and so it can't just tap into the running server. We have to trigger tasks that will do the work for us on the back end. In the next lesson, we'll see this in action when we write a task to seed our database.